and welcome back to episode 19 of Rules of Ways 2 German Brawlers. We had an excellent fleet battle in the English Channel just last month. Coming out of that, we're looking very good now, and if we can keep up that momentum, everything will come out peachy for this, this war. I anticipate pretty good things. All of our capital ships have been brutally damaged in that last fight, though. We'll be out for two months at a minimum. Tempted to recall the Graf Spees until then, but take them a month to get here. So I'm just going to move them into West Africa. See what they can do there. And uh, just let Northern Europe happen. And we will have our heavy cruisers next month anyways. Most of shells. Better fuses. Yes, please. I don't even have... Really? Okay. And I'm not spending anything on intelligence for Great Britain since they're an ally, but our spies are awesome. Motor torpedo boats. Purpose built aircraft carrier. We can make a CVL. Alright, took care of a minefield. Rating continues to be kind of lackluster. French still not mustering much in the Mediterranean at the moment. Uh, it's going to take a few months for these ships to work up. I figure out what we're going to do with that. Our surplus. Better signaling. It's actually a nice uh, battle turn. Picture of a battle turn. Well, engagement. Sure, I love free victory points. All right, France has some ships up, capital ships up here, uh, back up in Northern Europe, and so do we. Leipzig. I think that might eliminate the the small turret penalty entirely. It might just bring it down to minus ten. Got our motor to motor torpedo boat squadrons. Not sure how excited I feel about that. No, no, the U.S. stole stuff from us. Continue to lose our Corvettes. But not without them doing some good. French lose an AMC. Cruiser battle. That would go badly for us for the, with the ships we have available. But the French decline. Raid on enemy shipping, I'll take that. Or we've had all of our successes. Just our three dreadnoughts. Missed weather limits air operations, because missed. Okay. Late in the day too. So I'll keep our destroyers in a screen formation. We'll head down to the objective pip, since there are likely to be transports in this area. Alright, somebody's shooting somebody somewhere. As night falls. And we find what is probably that 11 inch battery. I don't really feel like messing with. Oh, there's something else there. That's fine. Not too concerned. There's a ship. Turn around. That looks to be a fleet maneuvering. We'll come up in speed. And turn away. As we unload one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rounds into them. 
Oh, jeez. Holy smokes, this is optimal. Let's see, what is... 4,000 yards, and we're just... I... One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen shells, heavy shells into the row. This is a a great meeting engagement so far, as long as we don't take a dozen torpedoes or something crazy like that. Roan definitely slowing. Did take a belt hit into the. Engine room. Mm, didn't hurt too badly. New pouring gunfire in. Not as decisive anymore. We have a Duquesne. One of their older ones. All right, we're taking return fire now. Destroyer is doing their thing in a cautious manner. Maybe I should set them to the black flag, but. An initial engagement went very, very well. I'm going to let that play out. Oh, God. This is an outstanding battle so far. Everything's going right. Let's see if we can take out this light cruiser. And with a ship identified over there, we're going to make a hard turn. Not a light cruiser. Destroyer. One that I'm a bit concerned about torpedoes. Let's close in. I'll set the black flag. Drop a couple torpedoes into the... Oh yeah, we're avoiding torpedoes. Our light forces are coming in. Let's turn away. That is point blank range. We could definitely take a torpedo here. Avoiding torpedoes. Get our ships scaring theirs away. Stay maneuvering. Disney takes both torpedoes at that range. That shore is no longer spotted and is turning back this way, so we're going to turn away. Head straight east. Is that a destroyer or not? I thought it was the destroyer that. Yeah, it was. Mist burns off, and we're left with an overcast night. Turn away. <laughs> Head a destroyer with a torpedo. Take off the black flag, save what torpedoes we do have left. What looks like another destroyer. He's turning towards us. Alright, let's turn out. Hopefully they've launched any torpedoes that are going to. Oh, this is very bad. There are destroyers everywhere. So many torpedoes to be had. Black flag. Oh, we're going to lose our ship. This is just chaos. Braunschweig takes a torpedo. Oh, that's not that bad, actually. Turn away, see if we can get out of this situation. We pour fire into multiple light ships. May work out anyways. There's another one. Oh, we're getting some good hits onto that light cruiser. Or probably a destroyer, actually. Yep, and she's come to a stop. He's probably done. Turn away, I don't want to be 
too much into that. Worth is hit by a torpedo. With that, I think we will uh, we will head out at this point. I think we just took out a whole mess of escorts for the receipt of a few torpedoes on our end. Not really an AMC. Oh, well, went down like one. I'm pretty happy with that result, actually. Slow down and get out of the English Channel. Knife fighting the French at night. This feels like my Rule the Waves 1 a campaign where I really explored this. Let's build a ship with tons of armor that goes slow and see how it works out. And the primary opponent ended up being the French again and again and again. They were always using modern ships. And, uh, and so they were, they were no pushover at that point. But they have had so many escorts all the time. So many night battles. And so I got kind of used to just getting hit by torpedoes all the time. It worked out surprisingly well. Our air bases are finding destroyers somewhere down here. I'm kind of continuing that that legacy in this campaign, and I really wanted to since I knew everyone was going to go go right for carriers because that's what's new. Now I'm not going to ignore them. Ooh, wow, that was a bad rupture. Yeah, I should have slowed them down after I got out of the channel. Especially as we're now into overtime. Alright, how is it? 57. If it stays like that, that's going to be bad. Still 57. We could still lose the worth. I don't know why the battle has not finished at this point. If it goes 2,000. We're going to lose the worth. Oh, thank goodness. Nope, she still counts as sunk. Oh, that is unfortunate. That makes this battle less worth it. But um, ching. We still got two battle cruisers. Almost sank another one. Got six destroyers out of that. That's six destroyers we don't have to deal with later. Still comes as a victory, but I have a feeling the Kaiser is going to subtract one. Subtract one prestige. It's a great example of what happens in a close engagement. It's unfortunate I lost the worth. Especially like that when I, there was no reason for her to keep going that fast. Somewhat tempted to lay down a new dreadnought. But, kind of want to end this war. We have our light cruisers. I'm kind of debating between making an AMC and letting it scrap at the end of this war. They're, they're pretty cheap. Or not build sub, sign ship. Actually, Subs take 10 months, 16. Whereas an AMC conversion, 40 mines. Brookswald, how fast can an AMC go? 21 knots. We don't have access to oil, do we? I know I've asked this already again. Six inch guns. Do you have high quality six inch? I could definitely do that. Give them 
bunch of ammo as we can. Increased elevation? Don't cost anything. We'll drop it down to five, just because of the the issue. Ship can carry a maximum of forty. Throw some light AA guns up there. Engine priority's fine. I don't think I can put any armor because then it's not a an AMC anymore. Yep. Maybe a torpedo. Oh, I didn't mean the center line. There we go. That's that's a destroyer. Okay, that's just silly. Nope. We're stuck at two thousand minimum. No. Making her smaller really affect things that much. It does. So minimum size is 1800. Drop the light AA guns. Drop the mines. Can't put that 40 anymore. Should be able to do 36. Yes. As fast as she'll go. Good. How does that affect things? Make her too much more expensive. Liable engines. And can we put armor? Any armor? Yeah. We can actually. Oh, must have built armor if it's gonna have armored guns. Rats. Oh yeah, update the graphic. Maybe put some pop guns on it. Uh, that makes them pretty significantly more expensive and this is sufficient. We want this kind of cheap. How much of an expense difference is that? Engine difference isn't really that big a deal. Pulls cheaper. Even though it requires more. Uh, it probably has more maintenance because the complement goes up. Not that I care about that too much. We won't have them for very long. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah, and the AA guns don't count for much. You put a... Oh yeah, I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have catapults yet. So I haven't done any seaplanes. Yes, I want to use coal. Bye. Alright. Let's see. I can do eight... This, the last Ariadne will finish, and um, that'll make up the difference. And then our Mackinsons will start showing up again. Really need to get more modern ships. We need to start scrapping these old ones rather than rebuilding them. Really shouldn't have done that rebuild program. Better explosive charge. Lose another Corvette. Oh, booger. Jeez. French are being really aggressive with the ace, asymmetric warfare. All engagement. 
So small, we get a single? No, we get a pair of destroyers. All right. Twilight. Nighttime. Full speed. That is not a light cruiser. Oh, it's a Corvette with one three-inch gun. It's like a flower class. Oh! Enough, though. I don't really have really good fire control because these are destroyers. Got one into her. Well, it's a torpedo off. Oh, and it didn't hit. So close. Chase her down. Superstructure hit. No worries about torpedoes. What? Hit by a torpedo? But they don't have one. Corvette. Corvettes aren't allowed torpedoes. How did we get hit by a torpedo? Well, that's disappointing. That went very poorly. Oh well, nothing for it. And now we just run out the clock. Thankfully, it's a very small engagement. It's not really going to affect things much. Yes, yes, new flag. Still injured, don't care. Well, they're pretty far from... Well, they're probably operating from Plymouth. About to say, uh, what I didn't say was, the destroyer is kind of way out here. It was not a Corvette. It was completely misidentified. Wow, what a misidentification. It happens. The blockade continues. We really don't need the AMCs. They're so fast to build. And relatively cheap. Without border changes, no. There we go. Great success. We did not invade Tunisia, but you know what? We can take it. Oh, I wish I had the map up. Do we want somewhere else? Can't take Corsica. I don't know where Senegal is. Maybe that's the thing. We, we knock them out of the rest of France. We'll worry about the Mediterranean for direct invasions, but these African ports are really hard to take. Uh, and that's in the Caribbean, so we could also push out there, but I don't think I want to. We'll get them out of West Africa. Yep, they weren't even finished. I have a new flying boat. The one with poor reliability. Slightly heavier bomb load. 600 pound bomb. That's kind of an odd weight. Better in every way. Kind of poor. Should be checking my aircraft types. So we have the two scouts. And get rid of this one. The other one is better. This one's ready to be obsolete. I have three flying boats, all of them poor. One's faster and longer range. I'm gonna get rid of this one. And we don't know how the new Torpedo Whelmer is, which carries a smaller bomb load. 
kind of very disappointing. But if it has good reliability, I'm willing to accept that loss. So short range, though. So it's a choice between making a flying boat or a torpedo bomber. This torpedo bomber hasn't fully developed yet. We'll we'll order a new flying boat until we finally get one that has decent reliability. Gonna have to halt construction on those two. All right, let's evaluate things. War is one. Have our new territories in West Africa. Which, yeah, I'm not worried about the area overview. I want the base overview. We'll look at West Africa, Senegal. We have Dakar and Middle Congo. We have Point Noir. Given what I've seen in the battles up here and the ranges of the aircraft involved, I kind of want bases everywhere. It's a little bit silly. Also makes me want to reevaluate where our bases are right now. Of Emden. Which that's good. I have Tonda. Up there. Our likely enemies are the US and France for the next war. Actually, our budget's doing extremely well. But I'm not sure I'm ready to fight the U.S. But if I'm not ready now, I'm never going to be. And what is this series, if not a, supposed to be exciting? Wow, that is a lot of... That's a lot. Take a look. Now yeah, we're way, way outstripped by tonnage. Of course, France is a little bit low since we just had that war. And we could do... So we're looking at Japan, Russia, Italy, or France. Again. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to wait. I'm going to refit our ships, see how things go. If we get a chance to fight the U.S., we will. Now, considering our potential battles, I'm thinking, let's see, we have, we have Revel, or no, I want Possessions. I keep forgetting how wonky this all is. Base Overview, Riga, Revol, and Lodau. I want Revol. No, not Northern Europe. I want the port. The port. All right, I'll just do it there. I want Revol. Air base there. Riga and Labau. So just everywhere. East Prussia. Plow only. We don't need one in. Danzig, then maybe Holberg, and in the Mediterranean, we have bases in Tripoli and Rhodes. I know Lind Lindos is right next to Rhodes, so no point there. Gazi and Tobruk. Worth getting those two. Don't get expensive. Two Dakar Point Noir. Dar es Salaam, I think, is right next to the other one. Tonga, yep. Yeah. I'm not worried about that one. Then we have Northeast Asia. We have Port 
Arthur, I believe. Indian Ocean. Southeast Asia. Northeast Asia. Dalny. Got Dalny. I think Tao could use one. Then Simpson Haven. Kaveng. That the other one? Yes. Oh, Kaveng. And then we need to check the Marshall's Tarawa. Central Pacific, right? And Majuro. So that's a lot of money, but it's worth it to have that umbrella. Might go against the theme that I'm, I established at the beginning. We'll get a little bit concerned at what they'll be able to accomplish. What our opponents will be able to accomplish with aircraft. We need to return our ships home. All into Northern Europe. These are. I don't know as I have a foreign tonnage requirement. I always forget where to look it up to. Map, Mediterranean. Details. Course requirement is 3,000. Do we have... I don't see anything in there. So you will need to cancel. There we go. East Asia, Central, South. And these ships will likely need to be refitted soon. Or replaced by the Ariadnes. Actually, I kind of like that idea. Gonna need... If I want to do that, we're going to need... One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have six. So we should build two more Ariadnes. I may rename one of those. We'll see. At a special request. Special request I'd like to honor. Our raiders. I'll bring them back as well. Two in Southern Africa. Two in the Indian Ocean, and one in the Caribbean. And we have our trade protection that was occurring in the Mediterranean. We'll bring all that back as well. Okay, there we go. Gonna need to pause both of those. Alrighty, I think we're set up. I'm adding. Yeah, it's all fine. Workup's finishing. 
reconstruction finishing. Alright, copy from Emden. Yep, I'll take the prestige. Funds would be nice, but eh. Copy the air group, copy the air group, copy the air group, air group, copy the air group. Copy all the air groups. Geez, I didn't realize I was building that many. Advanced design calculations. Better torpedoes, 37 knots. British government selling triple tubes. Yes, please. More weight savings. Yes. And thank you. Counter flooding. New flying boats. All right, what do we got? We have long range, fast, and tough. The only thing that's lacking is the maneuverability that the Junkers had. Okay, that makes that one easy. Get a better Arado. A lot more bomb load. Longer range and significantly faster. Okay, we'll take it. Check the aircraft types. Flying boat wise. We want to get rid of this one. Obsolete that one. Then between the two, the new one is... Marginally to significantly better in most categories. Then we have an evaluation for the torpedo bomber yet? We do not. Might be time for a new fighter or float plane actually. See if we can get a float plane. Oh, yeah, I keep doing that. Float plane scout. Viability range. Resume construction of the last of the Mackinsons. Better AP projectiles. Oh, please get me death charge racks. Better 10 inch guns. Kind of not that useful. Better version of their torpedo bomber. You guys, just make this. Like we don't even know the reliability yet. Better firepower. Significant range. Especially at heavy load. How should we act? I'm thinking... Ah. I'm going to go the middle road. I'm not going to completely avoid oh, CV conversions. Completely avoid the US. But I really don't want to fight them. Let's see, our Vondertans are big and old. Our Victoria Louises are ancient. Go another turn. Better 13 inch. Eh, I'll take it. Better depth charge racks. Excellent. Now we need to get some money. I think the these I have the two right. We'll mothball these two, and we'll have a use for them later. I'll start sending the Ariadnes out into the world. Starting with uh, Northeast Asia. Uh, 
and we'll do Southeast Asia. Central Pacific. South Pacific. Takes care of these four zones. And we can do the Indian Ocean and South Africa. Indian Ocean. South Africa. That should be that one. The Fondertans. I think I'll put them in reserve. Same with Graf Spays. They're kind of useful though. But I, I don't think it's going to hurt their, their crew quality is already not the best. Simply good. Not fair, and this is going to bring them down to fair. That's alright. Trying to save some money at the moment. Scandal all the How do you handle the Oh no. Rush it up. We like Great Britain. They're great allies. I shouldn't be so hesitant to fight the US. Literally have the largest navy. Huh? No, actually the US has the largest navy. We have the second largest navy on our side. By a whisker. Did I forget to move you? I've got to redo the Corvettes. Ah, jeez. Not enough money and so much to do. I hope he finishes. Svestapool. Eh, not a bad ship. Internal belt. I will absolutely be upset the Japanese stole that. The submarginal result. Not a big deal for a flying boat, though. Or they get poor reliability from the torpedo bomber. Let's see. Oh, we're already doing the full plan. I forgot about that. Got to resume both of them. Excellent. We have them to the Indian Ocean at this point. So, Indian Ocean, move to Northern Europe, West Africa. Wait, we haven't done that one yet. Done Southern Africa. About to do Southeast Asia. And Central and South Pacific. Central and South. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't mind kicking France when they're down. They have rust buckets. They are no match. We just proved it. Japanese stealing again. Starting to look a little bit more likely now. Then we have Northeast Asia about to happen. Whoops. Let's click Northern Europe. And then we have to wait. Oh, we have another one. Yeah, the Victoria Lee is in the Indian Ocean. We can move that one back to you. forgot we had two. Or I misclicked somewhere. Something happened. They're in reserve. Oh, yeah. And I can put all of you. Doesn't save that much money. It does save some. 
Now we're starting to look a little bit better. Oh yeah, the Raiders can as well. Now we have some money to work with. But we're not going to spend that money this time because we are running into the, the end of the time now. We had a fantastic war with France. Started off so poorly, came out so well. Um, and that's what we were hoping for. Proves that our designs are qualitatively better. I'm pretty pleased with what we have so far. The new Dreadnoughts worked out fantastic. I really want to design another one, but we kind of have to restructure our fleet at this point. Uh, think about maybe putting in a conversion, as well as fixing our Corvettes and a couple other things. There's just so much to do and so little money to do it with. And our, our aircraft are starting to take up a sizable chunk of the budget, so I may have to start trimming out like the airship bases. I kind of like them for flavor, but uh, it's it's really cramping our style at this point. Because that puts our maintenance at 18 million between naval aircraft and naval maintenance. But that's all stuff to decide on another time. So with that, thank you for staying to the end. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Take care.